Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to take up one very very interesting question from radical equations. So let's get started by writing denominators cannot be 0. So x cannot be 9, x cannot be 10. Now I will consider squaring both sides. Now square root and square will be cancelled out from our RHS. We will write our equation x square equal to 189 over x minus 10 minus 170 over x minus 9. Now we can take LCM. So in the denominator we will write the product of x minus 9 times x minus 10. In numerator we will get 189x minus 1701 minus 170x plus 1700. Now we can simplify numerator 189 minus 170 19x minus 1701 plus 1700 minus 1 over x minus 9 times x minus 10. LHS is x square. x cannot be 9 and 10. So we can cross multiply and write x square times x minus 9 times x minus 10 equal to 19x minus 1. Now I will multiply these two brackets first. So I can write x square times x square minus 19x plus 90 equal to 19x minus 1 or we can write x power 4 minus 19x cube plus 90x square minus 19x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can see x cannot be 0 for this equation. So I can divide both sides by divide both sides by x square. So we will get x power 4 minus 19x cube plus 90x square minus 19x plus 1 over x square. In RHS 0 over x square. Now x power 4 over x square. We will write x square minus 19x cube over x square minus 19x 90x square over x square plus 90 minus 19 over x plus 1 over x square. RHS will be 0. Now I will write our equation first and last term all together then second and second last term by taking minus 19 common then we have 90 so 90 i will write 2 plus 88 equal to 0 now we will take this 2 with terms x square plus 1 over x square. So let me write here x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 minus 19 times x plus 1 over x plus 88 equal to 0. Now this bracket we will write as x plus 1 over x whole square minus 19 times x plus 1 over x plus 88 equal to 0. Now let us assume x plus 1 over x equal to a. So we will get one quadratic equation in a a square minus 19a 
प्लस एट्टी एट इक्वल टू जीरो इक्वेशन इज क्वाड्रेटिक वी कैन यूज मेथड ऑफ फैक्टराइजेशन सो आई कैन सी द फैक्टर्स ऑफ एट्टी एट इलेवन टाइम्स एट एंड वंस आई विल एड दीज टू वी विल गेट नाइनटीन सो आई कैन राइट ए स्क्वायर माइनस इलेवन ए माइनस एट ए प्लस एट्टी एट equal to 0 from first two terms i can take a common so a minus 11 will be in the bracket from last two terms minus 8 is common we'll write a minus 11 in the bracket equal to 0 so we will get a minus 8 times a minus 11 equal to 0 from product zero rule we will get a equal to 8 a equal to 11 Remember, a is x plus one over x. So I will write here a equal to eight and a equal to eleven. A was x plus one over x equal to eight and x plus one over x equal to eleven. Let's begin with this equation. Now I will multiply both sides by x. So x times x plus one over x equal to eight x. Here x cannot be equal to zero. X square plus one equal to eight x. Or I can write x square minus eight x plus one equal to zero. now this is one quadratic equation we can use quadratic formula this time x will be equal to as per formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a as per our equation we can write a will be equal to coefficient of x square 1 b will be minus 8 And C will be one. So I can write. Let me write quadratic ones. X square minus eight x plus one equal to zero. We'll write x equal to minus b minus of minus eight eight plus minus square root of minus eight square is sixty four minus four times one times one so minus four over two times one so two. We will get eight plus minus square root of sixty over two. So this can be written as eight plus minus square root of sixty. So I will write here two root fifteen over two, which will give us four plus minus square root fifteen. So here we are having two real solutions. Now we will consider our second equation. X plus one over x equal to eleven. So I will write x square minus eleven x plus one equal to zero after multiplying by x both sides. So we will apply quadratic formula once again. We will get eleven. Plus minus the square root of minus eleven is square one twenty one minus four times one times one so minus four over two times one so two so I can write eleven plus minus the square root of hundred seventeen over two. Or we can write x will be equal to eleven plus minus hundred seventeen is thirteen times nine. So we can write here three square root thirteen over two. Again, we are having two real solutions. So overall, four real solutions are here. Now we have to verify which solution we are going to accept and which we will reject. let me write solutions here 
x equal to 4 plus minus so I will write 4 plus root 15 4 minus root 15 separately then we can write the other two solutions here it is now I will write our equation x equal to square root of 19x minus 1 over x minus 9 x minus 10 so we will apply two conditions LHS must be positive as we know square root cannot be negative and this radicant must be positive so one condition is x must be positive so if I will check only all four values in decimals then I can write approximately first one is 7.9 approximate value second value will be approximately 0 0.1 third value will be approximately 10.75 and last one is approximately 0 0.25 so all four values are positive so there is no constraint now we will find out the x interval from here so if I will draw the number line and I will get x lying in the interval 1 over 19 and 9 or x must be greater than 10. So we can check all four values are accepted. So our final answer if I will write 4 plus minus square root 15 and 11 plus minus 3 root 13 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care and bye bye.